following also reports of high water flooding and closed roads all throughout the afternoon. Take a look at your screen, everyone. This is Snap Road and Rivergate Drive. This is in Sevier County. Now, Snap and Rivergate, just a couple of the roads closed due to flooding today. Yeah, also in that Sevierville, Sevier County area, our crew encountering this high water at Red Bank Road. And also, more in Sevier County, people taking part in the community's Code Red alert system, getting that warning message this afternoon. Conditions could cause flooding in some areas. Be sure to monitor conditions and do not drive over any roads covered with water. Please tune into local news agencies for more information and current weather updates. Also, Pigeon Forge police posting a flooding picture on Facebook warning anyone who had parked along the banks of the Little Pigeon River to move their cars with the river rising quickly. Well, we sent WATE 6 on your side of Port of Laurel Home to Pigeon Forge today. Team coverage of today's weather impact. The river is moving here in Pigeon Forge, and if you listen closely, you can hear it too. Just over to my right, there's a park bench and a garbage can, really right in the middle of all of this flood water, which is really quite worrisome. The water's been rushing similar to this throughout the day since we've been out here in this parking lot, though the water's only been receding just a little bit, but there's no telling what's going to happen with the weather. Businesses that we visited have put up orange cones, and there's even caution tape in some of the parking lots, letting people know that it's time to stay safe. Uh, since we've been down here at this parking lot in Pigeon Forge, we've had a number of people roll up and they've been snapping pictures because they just haven't seen anything quite like this in Pigeon Forge before on any of their trips. Well, when we rolled up, I pointed out right here that I thought this was supposed to be a fence and that was a bench <laughs> and it was under the water so we were all a little bit shocked. It definitely is quite a wonder to come down and um, just watch the water like this. I just came to like check out the water because uh, I heard it was flooding in some areas and I just I knew this area gets pretty bad at times. Now this parking lot doesn't look how it usually does. We've got a number of open parking spots and then we've got picnic tables that you can see that were clearly pushed up away out of the river so that they wouldn't get stuck in the flooding. A number of tourists I spoke with today say that the rain has impacted their day, just that they've had to find more things to do inside. For now, reporting in Pigeon Forge, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. All right, thank you, Laura. Now, the rain prompting changes for visitors to the Smokies. Yeah, Rangers in the National Park having to close Cades Cove Loop Road at one point due to the high water there. Also in the park, the Elkmont Campground was evacuated because of some flooding. Yeah, the Park Service making that move out of an abundance of caution, telling us that nobody was in harm's way, the evacuation affecting about 120 campsites. Also, Newfound Gap Road, Greenbrier, and Cades Cove Loop Road are also closed. The Park Service expecting them to remain closed overnight. Now